Hi everyone, this is the second video in a series of videos about how to annotate C. elegans neurons using CatMade. So in the first video I went over some basics about how to log into CatMade and how to annotate neurons, but really what we're interested in from this project is to annotate synapses and be able to understand their x, y, z coordinates. So first when you've gone through and marked some neurons, you will come across structures which you may believe are synapses. So in C. elegans, the main difference between what you may be seeing in a mammalian synapse, which you're used to, is that there is a presynaptic density rather than a postsynaptic density. So in the area where I'm circling with my mouse now, you can see that there's a neuron which appears to have some vesicles, which are electron dense, and also the structure here, which appears to be a presynaptic density. The main difference why you may say that this is a synapse rather than say this cell, which may appear to have some vesicles, is that there appears to be this darkening here. The first and probably most obvious step for annotating a synapse in C. elegans will be to look for the presynaptic density. So after you think you found a presynaptic density, like in this image, you have the ability to scroll through with the scroll wheel and see maybe does this synapse span more than one image. So with this synapse, even though it appears to be a good example of one, it appears to be contained only within one image. If I scroll through a little bit more the other way, you'll see that there's what I also believe to be a synapse on this image. Again, you can see the presynaptic density. The vesicles aren't quite as clear in here, but as you can see, the presynaptic density appears to span from more than one section in this image. So, which brings up a point, if you see presynaptic density such as this one spanning more than one section just mark whatever you believe to be the most central of the section so if there are three sections where the synapse is spanning just mark in the middle synapse so after you've identified what you believe to be a presynaptic density you have to make sure that you identify the postsynaptic partners correctly too so many of the synapses in C. elegans will be monadic so it will be one presynaptic cell and one postsynaptic cell so in this, you can see that this neuron here is synapsing onto what I would say these two cells, this one with the blue and this one with the pink. So the way I think of this is that if the presynaptic density is like a spray can and it's pointing in all directions, you could say that it would point maybe in this way into this way. So in any way that the synapse would be spraying, I would consider that to be the postsynaptic partners. If we go back to what I thought was the synapse here before, I would say that this has maybe two or three postsynaptic partners. So you can say this is the presynaptic cell, this is a postsynaptic cell, and then also these structures that you see here are muscle arms. So this, this would also be a neuromuscular junction. So be sure to mark muscle two, and you can just mark that as a neuron for now. And when you're naming it, you can name it as muscle if you would like. So. Once you've identified what you believe is a presynaptic cell, a postsynaptic cell, it's time to actually mark the synapse. So for a quick moment, I'm going to go over to what it says for tracing neurons. So this is another website from CatMade that you can go to. It's catmade.org, and you can browse to it quickly. But there's also more in-depth options for how to create a synapse. So also, when you're done watching this video, I think it would be a great time for you to go and to actually look for these instructions and then you can find out more. So to mark a synapse, first you have to make sure that the presynaptic cell is the active node, which you can do by clicking on it with your left mouse. So once you have the active node, you can hold down shift and left click, just I would say inside the presynaptic cell. Once you've done with the first click, you'll see this purple arrow show up and then you can click on the postsynaptic partners in a row, which will create this connector node, as you see. Once you're done, you can hit shift, and you have marked your synapse. So you can see your presynaptic cell and your two postsynaptic cells. Again, you can see this other synapse that we marked before. I will click on this node to make it active. Shift to click where I believe the presynaptic cell is, and for both the postsynaptic partners. So I will have another video after this one in the series about how we can manage these data, how we can evaluate them and compare them between our annotations. Thanks.